I'm sorry if these lights do that in madness. I'm sorry. Anyways, do I look cute? Well, of course, I always look cute. Like, what are you saying? What am I saying? my channel it's your girl stephanie in today's video we're going to be doing a one two skincare routine this is my acne journey slash skincare routine i'm going to be showing you how my skin went from this to this if you like this video please make sure to give it a big big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel subscribe without further ado let's get into the video so in like 2018 when i first started getting acne it was mild like even before that i would always get more like just little spots or pimples here and there right after summer break that's when my acne came in full force it was so new to me it was so overwhelming i just started to break out i didn't do anything wrong i didn't do anything different than i would usually do i wasn't doing anything i just started to break out but before i started getting acne i would wash my face only once in a while i didn't have a skincare routine basically but it didn't really matter because i wasn't breaking out my skin was still super clear i was still enjoying life i was a kid my self-esteem just started to go down i started to just be so sad but I would cry some days. I would be so upset. I felt like I was so so ugly I didn't like how makeup looked on me anymore. So I didn't even love doing makeup anymore I tried everything. I went from using cleansers with salicylic acid was using things with glycolic acid didn't work I was consistent. I would wash my face day morning and night morning and night and nothing changed My acne just got worse filming videos was also a problem I would wear makeup in my videos so that it wouldn't be so obvious that I had the acne But some of you still noticed that I was getting it. I tried using apple cider vinegar on my face as a toner Because everybody said apple cider vinegar is like it's like a miracle product that's a lie well maybe it's not a lie maybe it works for some people but it definitely didn't work for me i would use really really harsh products basically like all my products would contain some sort of boom boom acid that would just make my skin so sensitive like my skin was so sensitive to everything and it was just getting really really bad like it wasn't getting good at all going to school was like the worst part of it because not blaming anybody like no one had like bad intentions or anything like that but people would just say things like uh stephanie what's happening with your face like oh what's happening with your face i think you should wash your face more oh my god that is the worst thing to hear that's the most annoying thing to hear bro it's not just about washing your face i even tried just leaving my face not doing anything the only thing i would use is the cetaphil like gentle skin cleanser it's very very mild i still stand set up feel like it's such a mild product and it still does the job but it didn't get rid of my acne it just used to wash my face and i would feel clean i watched every youtube video on acne that is on this planet so i am so educated on this acne peel like, i don't know what else i can hear that would be new to me every pimple i would have would leave a dark spot and up to now that's still the same case so if you see this right here that is like one of my most recent pimples and that is the dark spot that it left it's probably going to fade away very soon so i'm just giving it its time i had tens and tons of dark marks in the video where i did all there for a day you would see my pimples and my acne very clearly that was when my acne was at its peak and i had just gotten off my period that was the video that made a lot of people notice after i saw the feed feedback on that video like i really wanted to get rid of the acne and it is so bad that i used that as a reason to want to get rid of my acne you guys you are 100 still beautiful with your acne it's normal to have acne it is so normal i don't know why i didn't think of it before i felt like a freak with my acne i don't I don't know why I, I never thought it was normal but like i don't know i kind of had like an epiphany and i was like whoa like stephanie why are you stressing like it's totally normal it is totally okay it doesn't make you any less beautiful keep pushing and you will get through it i promise there's a light at the end of the tunnel i just gave myself a little pep talk and then i took some pictures 
basically showing my acne i'll put up the pictures here and i posted it on instagram and a lot of people actually showed love on those pictures and it just made me really really happy so my dad finally like found out about this dermatologist and my dad clearly had seen how sad my acne had made me feel and how down i was because of the acne and he just saw my pain and he inquired and then found a dermatologist he told me stephanie i'm taking you to a dermatologist and we'll find out what exactly is the problem i was like okay it's worth a shot i didn't think it was going to work i was like uh here we go again i'll try another product it won't work sad me i went to see the dermatologist and he basically looked at my skin and he was like okay i see he was not like but do you know your acne isn't that bad i don't see anything really really wrong with your skin i was like i was like bitch is you blind like because like, oh there's nothing really wrong with your skin i think you should just give it time what i have is hormonal teenage acne so it's normal for teenagers to get acne at this time it's totally normal for me to have acne at this time i should just chill wait it out and let it clear up i was like ah, don't do this to me <laughs> You can't just tell me to wait. He was like, oh, that will probably clear up by the time I'm like 21 Jesus or 22. I said, sir, sir, do not do this to me. I said, don't do this to me. I, 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 I'll actually spark now. Sir, please. I'm so sad and I really just want clear skin and sir. And the guy was like, okay. I'll give you something. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> so he gave me these products that literally saved my life. And this one was like, you will use this in the morning, this at night for about a month, four weeks. Watch and see your skin get better. I was like, sad. It's not possible. He said, try it. I said, sad. It's not possible. He said, try it. I said, you obviously have to cleanse your face before you do anything you have to wash your face before you do anything i kept on using my cetaphil daily facial cleanser and then i ran out of that so i went and bought this cleanser it's the beauty formulas activated charcoal detox cleanser there's nothing really special about this cleanser i wouldn't tell you oh go out and buy it and i just needed a temporary cleanser because i was looking for this this product is called baby face i know the packaging looks a bit sketchy even when i first saw it i was like this looks so sketchy like do i really want to be putting this on my face like this looks like china product but i promise you it's really really good i don't know when you first start using it it may make you feel like whew. It has glycolic acid, which is an AHA, and like AHAs are basically good for digging deep into the skin. So anything with salicylic acid or glycolic acid is really good for people with acne prone and oily skin. That's cleanser I would use. So this is what he gave me to use in the morning. This along with a an antibacterial, antifungal thingy to mix together. I don't have the thingy right now. The thingy ran out. I ran out of it. It has 5% benzoyl peroxide. I know this is a lot of scientific terms I'm mentioning for you, but this is another type of something that gets rid of acne. So he gave me this to mix in with another thing and he warned me, Sha. He told me that these products that he's giving me, they're going to make my acne get worse before it gets better. He warned me, but I said, eh, it can't really get any worse than it is right now. Baby! and tea trust it got worse it got so bad my acne got terrible i'll put this in my palm put the other one mix it put it everywhere 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 and the guy told me not to use moisturizer but my skin started getting so so dry like my skin was dehydrated like it was thirsty like it needed moisture but then it appeared oily on the surface while i was doing that i wasn't putting on sunscreen and that was my first mistake because even before i went to the dermatologist i would always put on sunscreen just because sunscreen prevents your dark spots from getting darker i thought this was the only thing i could use i couldn't put anything else on my face so i skipped out on the sunscreen and my skin suffered for it i burnt i got so dark like i'm still recovering from 
how dark I got. Any medication that helps get rid of acne automatically makes your skin more sensitive to the sun. But obviously going to school, I was exposed to the sun a lot. So obviously I had to now start wearing sunscreen. So I would mix this in with the gel product, the other thing, mix it on my palm, put some sunscreen, put my moisturizer, mix it together and then apply it. So for sunscreen and moisturizer, this is what I use. This is the Skin Doctor SPF. 80 80 that's one of the highest this is the simple hydrating light moisturizer i'm obsessed with this moisturizer i would mix these two together and i would be protected so this is what he gave me to use at night this is retin a it can only be used when recommended by dermatologists that's the downside to this it's not really a downside because there's a reason for that like it's not for everybody your dermatologist has to have seen your skin before he can say okay use this thing because it's a very strong product this definitely is what faded my dark spots look at my skin like ignore this this is like a scar i scratched myself and this is a scar but my skin is so much better than it used to be i started using these products on october 22nd i can never forget that date i just can never forget that date it's been about five months ish going to six months it takes time and consistency you don't just start using a product and expect it to work miracles after two days i saw and i felt this these things work when i first started using it i was like ah, this isn't too bad like i still feel fine like until about like a week later i started getting pimples everywhere every pimple that planned on coming out came out because of these things like it brought them out. it said come out of your hiding place it came out of this hiding place and came to the surface of my skin this period of time please don't don't worry just calm down you are going to want to panic you are going to want to cry i panicked i cried i told my daddy i said daddy this thing is not working they recommended me rubbish the thing with getting rid of your acne is that you cannot skip a step you must do everything every day in the same routine so your skin can be like okay so this is what we're doing okay she uses this in the morning uses this at night this does this this does that. like your skin will now be like okay we understand what's going on here and then it will begin to respond to what you're doing fast forward almost six months later this is my skin but i honestly started seeing results like a month later i'm not telling you guys to do exactly what i'm doing I'm, I'm not telling you guys to do exactly what i did because like i said everyone's skin is different if you've gone through exactly what i've gone through you've tried everything nothing worked and you're just simply tired i really think you should go and see a dermatologist so right now i'm going to be showing you guys my morning routine and my night routine i hope you guys enjoy hi so this is my morning routine obviously i look like shit i just woke up well i technically didn't just wake up but i'm acting like i just woke up but let's not be exposing ourselves here okay so first i'm going in with my baby face wash i wash my face for at least 60 seconds And then I use a paper towel to clean my face all the time because I feel like towels carry so much bacteria. But don't worry, I don't waste paper. I reuse those towels to clean surfaces and do other things like that. So now I'm going in with my moisturizer, obviously the simple moisturizer along with my sunscreen. Mix it in my palm and then just rub it all over my face. I didn't use my Oxy 5 today simply because my skin was super clear. I had no pimples. But when I was first clearing my acne, I used it every single day. But now I use it every other day. Then obviously chapped lips isn't the way to go. So I use this lip balm. And that is my morning routine. Oh. 
all right so this is my nighttime skincare routine i decided to do this on a day where i was wearing makeup so i could really show you guys a step by step on how i take off my makeup and do my skincare so starting off with my simple micellar water i do not advise that anyone uses wipes wipes are very harmful to the skin i recommend a micellar water or an oil or a cleansing balm or anything like that Moving on to cleansers, I actually cleanse with two products. I use my BC Formulas Charcoal Cleanser along with my Baby Face with AHA Face Wash. Um, it's very normal to cleanse twice, but however, using my micellar water was already my first step in cleansing. So I actually have three cleansing steps, but it's usually advised to have only two. But I just really want to make sure that there's no makeup left at all on my skin. Three steps may be a lot for some people, so two steps should be just fine going in with my retin a i actually used a bit too much in this video I, I don't know what i was doing i don't know what came over me to use that much but you don't need that much nighttime is the easiest on days i don't wear makeup i literally just wash my face and apply my retin a nothing more nothing less and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give it a big big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video see ya catch ya later Mwah.